Hello everybody. Hope everyone is having a good week. Just want to do a quick video here, kind of an update of a video we had done years ago. And I know a lot of you new ones to our channel um, usually don't have a chance to go back and watch our old videos. And we had covered it extensively. So I just want to do a quick one, just kind of like an update. And um, something that we had discovered years ago and like the title says, Jehovah's Witnesses, how come you can't celebrate this if Jesus did? So, I have the 1984 Reference Bible. And this is such a good Bible to use when talking to Jehovah's Witnesses because it has the footnotes. And even as a JW, I liked this Bible because of the footnotes. I learned a lot probably helped wake me up. Um, it is available on JW.org and that's what Jane Doe has been doing is she'll go to JW.org and she'll be reading these scriptures and click on the asterisk to read the footnotes. Those footnotes are gems. So anyway let's go to John 10 22. I'll read this. At that time, the festival of dedication took place in Jerusalem. It was winter time. And Jesus was walking in the temple in the colonnade of Solomon. So, if Jesus was in the temple at this time, and it even mentions that it was the festival of dedication, now, many may not know what the Festival of Dedication is. So if you look at the asterisk right after Festival of Dedication and go down to the bottom, Festival of Dedication, Hanukkah. So if Jesus was in the temple, probably celebrating this, then why aren't Jehovah's Witnesses allowed to celebrate Hanukkah? Now, you can find it in the magazines also. There were several references and I chose the 2011 Watchtower on JW.org September 1st um, page 14 and it was a did you know? What was the festival of dedication mentioned at John 10 22? The three seasonal festivals that God commanded the Jews to observe, the Festival of Unfermented Cakes, the Festival of Pentecost, and the Festival of Ingathering, were held in early spring, late spring, and fall, respectively. The festival mentioned at John 10.22, however, was held in wintertime and commemorated the rededication of Jehovah's Temple in 165 BCE. Well, you'd think that would be a festival that even Jehovah's Witnesses could celebrate, right? It was held for eight days, beginning on the 25th day of the month of Chislev, close to the winter solstice. What led to its institution? Then they go on to explain how um, the ruler, the Syrian ruler, um, had desecrated the temple back then, and he had erected a pagan idol in place of the altar in Jehovah's Temple in Jerusalem and had sacrifice offered to the Greek god Zeus. Now then you get into the story of the Maccabeans. Well unfortunately not much is in the Bible about the Maccabeans. You actually have to go to the book of Maccabees first and second one to read about this uprising and them getting the temple back and cleansing it of all the pagan idolatry and all of that and that's why this was a festival that God commanded them to celebrate because they rededicated the temple to Jehovah at this time. So I'll ask again what is so wrong about celebrating this holiday by Jehovah's Witnesses? Why can't they do that? Your guess is as good as mine. I'm sure there's many things in these publications that say why they can't celebrate it. And, oh, well, that was back then. You don't need to celebrate it. And we all know what they will say. So 
anyway I just found it interesting and just wanted to do an update and share that with everyone since it is almost Hanukkah time and I never knew this as a Jehovah Witness I never knew that the Jews and the disciples and stuff celebrated this festival and it's like well if they celebrated it then why can't Jehovah's Witnesses just asking you all have a wonderful day. Bye.